beautiful spirits. Today we're going to talk about one way to ease heartbreak. Heartbreak is one of the most painful experiences in life, in my opinion. It is right up there with kidney stones, which suck really bad. They're horrid. So we don't like heartbreak. We don't want to feel it. We don't want to go through it. And it seems like as time goes on and our age advances, it seems it, it's even harder. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because in your 20s, you're like, woohoo, I got my whole life ahead of me, whatever, whoever comes along. And then when you get older, maybe you start thinking, man, the pool is a little smaller. I don't know what it is, but it hurts worse, it feels like, when you're older. So what can we do to ease that? What can we do to get through that? Besides taking a day or two to allow yourself to cry and reminisce and all those things. But give yourself also a deadline. A deadline of, okay, I am going to allow myself to cry and grieve this really hard for 24 hours or whatever it is. And then after that, you've got to pick yourself up and start moving forward because healing takes time, but you will heal a lot faster if you're in motion, if you're doing something. And it helps if you're doing something for yourself. Self-care comes in there, things like that, um, self-knowledge, anything you can do to uplift yourself, those all help. Progress is the thing that will help you get through heartbreak. Progress also helps with depression. I should record another video about that. But anyway, talking about heartbreak. So if you're working on things, you yeah, you're going to still feel that twinge. You're going to feel it regardless of you hear a song or if you go somewhere that you used to go together, if you experience something good or if you experience something bad. For some reason, you're going to get those reminders for a while. Eventually, the goal is to get to the point where you can take those memories and those good points and cherish them without the sting of the pain. And that's when you will know you have healed your heartbreak. The only way to do it and the fastest way to do it is by progress and movement and action. So that's the best thing to do. If you can talk to somebody about it, a trusted friend or family member, that's great. But also remember that ruminating about it is going to keep it alive and keep that wound open. So you can talk about your hurt, but process through. Get to the good stuff and see something good in what you're doing every day for yourself and see that as a way that you are preparing yourself for the true love of your life. And if you're preparing yourself for that, that is a good thing. That is a happy thing. So I hope this video has been helpful and I'm going to go record one for depression right now because yeah, progress is an amazing thing. Action, progress, movement, it really does help. So please hit like, hit subscribe and comment. I look forward to seeing what you have to say. Thank you so, so much. And if you're dealing with heartbreak right now, know that I am here sending you love, sparkles, and I know that you will get your sparkle back really soon. Just get moving. All right. Mwah.